Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man, back with a controversial view of Salo. As you should know by now, the Controversial View series is a series in which Jason from Horrific Nightmares and I watch and discuss movies that are considered controversial. We're watching these taboo films so you don't have to. This is a heavy hitter, guys. Oof. Salo, also known as Salo or The 120 Days of Sodom, is a 1975 controversial movie. In fact, one could argue that it's the most controversial film Jason and I have discussed so far during this series. Despite its heavy controversy, by the way, this is not the film Jason and I have been promoting as the major controversial view coming soon. You'll have to wait longer for that one. Salo is an Italian film, directed by Pier Paolo Pasolini. In addition to the grim subject matter of the film, there is controversy surrounding Pasolini as well. He was murdered before the movie was released, and the case remains unsolved even after all these years. Of course, the most controversial thing about Salo, though, is the subject matter. Apparently, Roger Ebert owned the film on Laserdisc, for years after its release. He never did watch it, though, because he was intimidated by the graphic content. He supposedly died without ever seeing it. Salo is a movie about perversion and depravity. I think it is important to mention right now that although Salo is inspired by true events in history, the movie is a work of fiction. No one was actually harmed during the shooting of the film, and the young actors and actresses even claimed it was a jovial set. They assured everything was done tastefully. Now, I want you to think about that word when you hear what I say in just a few minutes. Tastefully. My point is, despite the disturbing concept... It's just a movie. Similar situations did occur in history, but no one involved in the film were victims of those. Avoiding movies such as this does not change what really happened. A group of fascists in World War II Italy round up adolescent boys and adolescent girls for their amusement. They then subject them to 120 days of physical mental, and sexual torture. I'm not going to give too many descriptive details here. If you're curious, you should check it out yourself. I will say there are actions committed in this movie that I haven't seen committed in any others. There is molestation, rape, urination, and defecation. Tastefully. I think I'll leave it at that. But there's a reason why Salo is infamously controversial. This is one that certainly lives up to that infamy, in my opinion. There is obviously tons of nudity in random sexual acts. And the climax, probably a poor choice of word for this movie, features some graphic mutilation. I've always found it interesting, though, that Salo was released by Criterion. This movie is actually part of the Criterion Collection, as you can see. And they've released it more than once, even on special edition Blu-ray. I get it, though, in a way. Salo is an important film, above all else. Well, maybe not above its controversy, but it's a significant piece of cinematic history. It was released over 40 years ago, and is still banned to this day in some countries. This is a film one might seek out for curiosity's sake. It was also one of the most widely bootlegged movies ever, because, believe it or not, people really wanted to see it. This isn't a date movie, or one you put on with your significant other, or your parents, or 
anyone else for that matter. Of course, Jason and I watched it together for this controversial view. The Things We Do for the Love of Horror and Film Salo has always intrigued me. I owned a copy of this years ago, but it was a defective disc, and I never replaced it. Fortunately, Jason had two different editions of Salo, and sent me this one, so we could watch it for this series. I'll say that I am glad to have it in my collection, but I know a lot of others probably wouldn't feel the same. This isn't a movie I can recommend to everyone, or maybe even anyone. But if you are curious and not easily offended, and you're someone who firmly believes in not changing history to satisfy this PC culture, you might find some entertainment in Salo. Entertainment is probably not the right word, but if you fit that criteria, you won't feel like you wasted your time watching Salo. If what I said doesn't describe you, then you don't have to watch it. This is just my controversial view. Be sure to check out Jason's video as well. Have you seen Salo? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. To which controversial movie will we next give a view? Check back after Monster Mayhem to find out. Until then, thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.